Hey Aquarius, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, subscribing. I do appreciate it. All right, this is going to be your um, love reading for the month of November 2020. Um, supposed to be a mid-month reading, but really it's for the whole month of November. It's a love reading. The, um, the beginning of the month readings were general, so these are focused on love. So, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, what do we need to know for this Aquarius reading for anyone with Aquarius placements in the way of love for the month of November 2020? Simple acts of kindness. Someone else had that card too. Can I have one more, please? Aquarius, simple acts of kindness. Beautiful. Okay, we got two. Oh, I love this reading. All right, um, I love this card. This is like, I think this is my favorite card in the deck. Somebody else had this too. I want to say it was Cancer. The Union of Hearts. It's beautiful. Wow, that's nice. Okay, so just look at how pretty this card is. I know somebody also reached out to me and said they had it, I think, as a screensaver or something, and they didn't know that it was a tarot card. It's actually an oracle card. It's from the Whispers of Love deck. Really, really beautiful. So, the, the Union of Hearts, um, a love connection defies explanation. Um, this came out first, though. Simple Acts of Kindness came out first. And that was, kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. Okay, so Simple Acts of Kindness the union of hearts which is my favorite card in this deck and take a chance on love when we love our lives are changed forever beautiful take a chance on love okay so listen this is interesting so aquarius um you're being encouraged to i don't you might even already feel this or you might not have met this person yet or you already did meet this person. I don't know. For each of you, it's going to be different and I don't have enough cards out here. But I can see here that um, you're being encouraged to take a uh, chance on somebody because, well, they're supposed to. You're, it's a very important connection for you. It's a soulmate connection for sure. And with the simple acts of kindness cards showing up, kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you so either you're being encouraged to do something like some little act of kindness towards this person or them towards you or you know you're going to see it come at you either we're being sent this card because uh you need to have the heads up that the person who's sending you this simple acts of, of kindness that is doing something sweet for you is actually a soulmate and you're being encouraged to actually realize that this connection uh defies explanation and to give it a chance to take a chance on love all right now for some of you you're being encouraged to do this do some kind of little act of kindness for somebody that you already feel a very strong um, connection to that is hard to explain because it's a soul connection and they're saying give it a chance try doing this little act of kindness that might help in your situation to get their attention or to get their acknowledgement or I don't know what it's for for each of you it's going to be different okay so let's keep going here spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what else do we need to know please Aquarius reading love reading only please for the month of November that's way too many just one or two one or two Love reading for the month of November 2020 for Aquarius. Anyone with Aquarius placements? What else do we need to know here? Worth waiting for. This came out first. Attraction. Wow. And you deserve love? That's nice. This was at the bottom. I should have gotten another one, though. Can I get one more? Oh, oh, that's too many. Hold on, guys. Got a bunch of them falling out. Can I get just one more? free yourself okay so listen if you oh past life relationship is at the bottom as well all right so this is definitely um it's a soulmate relationship it's a past life relationship all right so you have known each other before 
it came up with the free yourself card or right after the free yourself card um it's time to take back control of your life there's something you're doing um that's keeping you away from this soulmate now i don't whoever this soulmate is is not someone i feel you need to free yourself from i feel like you need to free yourself from something else so you could be with this soulmate okay we have attraction you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully we have worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life whoever this is this is the person that's worth waiting for you deserve love you are lovable um the right kind of love they want you to i feel free yourself from something or someone whatever it is it could be something that you feel very tied to that's keeping you from being able to have all this it doesn't have to be another lover keep that in mind this could be a job this could be your family this could be uh anything religion anything that's keeping you from being with the person you really should be with um and you're basically just being told look free yourself from whatever's holding you back because this person is a soulmate this person is a past life love this person is somebody that you deserve and will have great love with this is someone who has been worth your weight okay or they've been you know waiting for you you've been waiting for them whatever it is but it's a look out right in the center we've got this beautiful um the union of hearts worth waiting for you deserve love past life relationship i mean this is all like if i were to move this center this is all in the center of your reading here um but you're first gonna have to free yourself from something and it could even be your own mind of like not understanding that you deserve this whatever it is okay so whatever it is you need to cut loose and free yourself from please do that but let's get a few oracle cards on it and see what comes out okay we have used the whispers of love card that's the first cards the oracle we used in the beginning and we've also used um romance angels um oracle deck and we're going to use quantum oracle deck and this is not a love deck but it has all kinds of different stuff in it i call it a life deck because it has a little bit of this and a little bit of that all right it's a life deck spirit and angels anyone for the highest good what do we need to know for this aquarius love reading for the month of november 2020 for anyone with aquarius yeah can look at this this came out in someone else's reading um just it was virgo i think was it virgo yeah it was virgo it just came out in the last reading i did i think it was virgo oh wow commitments at the bottom as well all right let's talk we gotta talk all righty so you got kindred partnership i am not kidding you this person is important to you I don't know if you know this person yet. I feel like you do. I feel like you already know them. I don't know if you know them like that, but you know them. Um, we have hidden motivations. And I love this card because it sounds like so, you know, sneaky. Hidden motivations. No, it's positive. Look at the um, beautiful, happy family life in there. So someone does have hidden motivations. They want happiness. They want joy. They want peace. They want love. They want, you know, the whole bit. And commitment. Look at this. Somebody's looking for the whole deal. I mean, we're talking about union of hearts. Uh, the love connection that de defies explanation, right? We've also got worth waiting for and past life relationship. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And you have known each other before. It's a kindred partnership and there's commitment involved in this this is a soulmate no doubt about it there is hidden motivation one of you i don't know if one of you doesn't know it yet does one of you know that you are definitely soulmates and that there's i feel like one of you knows it and the other one doesn't or you just neither of you know it yet and it's about to come bursting out like this might be someone you know from work with uh, professional assistance at the bottom. This could be someone that you hired or they hired you. This could be someone you work for or they work for you. This could be someone who is like, I mean, I'm just throwing these out there. These are not written in stone, but you, this could be your accountant. You could be their cleaning lady. 
you could be their accountant they could be your cleaning lady <laughs> you know gonna be any one of them could be your your chef one of them could be the um person you know from the laundromat I mean, this could be someone that you know in a professional aspect. This could be your coworker. This could be your boss. This could be your business uh, associate or a partner or somebody who works for uh, another business that your business deals with. Um, maybe the company you work for works for works with them or um, hired them for something or vice versa. All of this. I'm giving you all these scenarios, but. You will know there's going to be something about this union where the two of you mesh in some way. You're going to feel this attraction to each other. You're going to feel this um, past life um, draw that's going to be drawing you two together. Or you're not really, maybe you don't understand it. This person might do nice, kind little things for you and you don't really understand why. Or vice versa. You might do something kind and sweet for them. I feel like that when I see this card come up, I swear I always feel like Spirit's going to let you know who your person is by having them do some simple little act of kindness for you so that you will know that's the person that we're talking about here. But this could go the other way around. Maybe you're doing some simple little act of kindness towards them that's going to help trigger them to know that you're their person. There's something about this. That this is very similar to someone else's reading. Um... I want to say it could have been Cancer's reading or Virgo's reading. It had Union of Heart. Well, there's been a couple different readings that were different, but I would check them all out. I would just watch the other ones because we all have everything in our chart somewhere, and my readings are for any placement. So, um, if, especially if you have a lot of Aquarius, but if you have any Aquarius in a particular part of your chart that's popping right now, you still could mesh with this reading. Um, but anyway, we have here somebody who's definitely dealing with a past life um, love. Uh, I feel as though there's commitment coming. This is very kindred. There's hidden motivations. One, I almost feel like one of you might not know yet how important this relationship is. And I feel like it is important. Okay, I don't have much else to tell you guys. I know your reading was shorter than everybody else's, but it's just so straight up. Um, let me grab you guys a couple of angel cards, though. Angels, for anyone who's going to resonate with this reading, what do you want them to focus on or know about, please? From the bottom. Oh, you got a bunch, but that's okay because you deserve them because your reading was shorter than everybody else's. Yeah, absolutely. Look, I cannot make this up. Patience, worth waiting for, right? Birth, brand new. This is a brand new situation. It's past life. It's not brand new as in you've, done, you've never lived a lifetime with this person before. But it is a past life relationship of some sort. And they're saying keep it simple. Or it's much simpler than you think. And look how these both, don't they look the same? I don't know why these two cards look the same. It's The thing that I feel is so simple is that this kindred partnership is leading to everything. It's everything. The, the, you're you're going to have everything um in this partner but i don't you have no idea yet that this is coming i feel or they don't i want one more i just have a feeling that the hidden motivation part is like it this is going to take you by surprise and i don't mean in a negative way i mean this is going to take you by surprise look brotherhood sisterhood they're from your tribe this is definitely definitely a very important past life relationship. Somebody is about to, and it's all been about divine timing. I've got goosebumps everywhere for you. It's all been about divine timing. It, it, it's past life. It's about divine timing. It's kindred. It's unexplainable. It's a union of the hearts, a, a love connection that defies explanation. There, there's gonna, you're gonna end up marrying this person. Whoever's reading this is for, you will marry this person. 
You will have the white picket fence. You will have kids. You will have, you're going to have it all. If this is your reading now, now if you don't, if, if you're older and going, I can't have any more kids, you know what I mean. You're going to come together as if you two were meant to be together, right? This is really, 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 really very cool energy that I'm feeling coming off this whole reading. Um, it's going to be life changing. And if anybody, listen, if you are holding yourself back in any way, or if there's anything in your life holding you back, free yourself from it, please, because you're missing out on something amazing. All right, guys. Um, I'm sorry your reading probably was the shortest one I had, but wow, was it worth the, you know, who, we don't need any more than this, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, please reach out to me. Let me know if you feel like this is your reading, if you've recently met someone, or you're, if you feel like this has been coming for a long time. Uh, this feels very 1111, and you know what? I'm reading this reading to you um, the day after the 1111, uh, November 11th. So uh, that's interesting to me. So guys, um, please fill me in. Okay. I'm really excited about this. All right. Let me know if you feel like it's yours. If not, claim it. If you want it, claim it at the bottom, write it in there. I claim this reading and so it is. Take it. It's your reading. Um, I feel like somebody's about to meet someone very, very, very special to their life. I feel like this is definitely going to be the one. If this is your reading, you're about to meet the one or you already have and you're about to realize it's this, this is all going to happen for you. Okay. Really, really nice. All right, guys, enjoy this reading. Um, I'm enjoying it for you. Please like, share, subscribe. If you need a full personal reading, hit me up down below. My information's down there. Reach out to me by email. These are just little sample readings, but if you need a full reading, the prices are down there. My PayPal's down there. It's all down there. Thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, donating, sharing, participating, commenting, uh, booking readings, all the th wonderful things you guys do. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay? From the bottom of my heart. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.